this virtual tour, I'm visiting the faculty whose study programs are constantly changing and innovating, where our research and results are constantly evolving, and where Nobel Prize winners such as um, Kamerling Onnes and Lawrence were professors, um, and even Albert Einstein was a visiting professor here. I'm talking about the Faculty of Science. Uh, but please introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Matthijs Goedings. I'm a physics student here at the Faculty of Science in Leiden. <laughs> and uh, Matthijs, you're going to give us a tour, right? Yes, that's right. Uh, we'll come back here later. We'll first go to one of the most eye-catching buildings of our faculty, which is the UFO building, which is over there. All right. Okay, let's go over there to have a bit of a better look at the building. <laughs> I can see why, uh, what you meant with the, with the UFO. It's truly an eye catcher. Yes, that's why in Dutch we call it the schotel or the UFO, which is roughly translated to English. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually one of our most important buildings here at the faculty because it houses four of our largest lecture rooms that we currently have access to. Nice. Can, can we see them? Yes, of course. We can have a look inside. Oh wow, this is impressive. Yes, quite. Uh, it is actually the biggest um, lecturing hall at the Faculty of Science. And with that, also the biggest at the entire University of Leiden. Uh, it holds over 750 students when completely filled up. Wow, that's impressive. It really is if everything is uh, full of people. It's quite a crowd. <laughs> hey, I, I cannot help but notice the old school chalkboards in such a modern lecture room. Yeah, most uh, professors actually like the use of chalk more than whiteboards um, because I like the feeling of it a bit more. It's also very nice to look at for the students, especially when using uh, complicated math formulas. Well, I can see that it's, it can be very impressive when it's filled up with, uh, with, uh, with the formulas. But that's way beyond my yeah. <laughs> math capabilities. Fair enough. Yeah, it really is. If everything is filled up, it's quite... Uh, can be quite much <laughs> to take in. Shall we go up? Yes, continue. let's continue. Okay, now as we are entering a lab, uh, please put on a lab coat, as it is required here. Yeah, sure. This is what I imagined when I arrived at the Faculty of Science. <laughs> hey Matthijs, can you tell me what you, do you study in this lab? Uh, we study development and disease, uh, biodiversity, uh, bioactive molecules, um, uh, host microbe interactions, and those type of topics. All right, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, can you give me an example? Uh, for example, we develop anti-cancer drugs, anti-inflammatory drugs, and we also research ways to protect crops against insects and fungi and those type of stuff. Nice. So shall we uh, get on going to the next lab? Welcome to our robot lab. This is where the students of computer science and mathematics uh, can program robots and test them. Nice. So a lab. Yes. This is quite the opposite of the previous lab we just visited. Yes, it really is. Uh, it's a lot more open. Uh, that's because we have to test our robots here on the racetrack that's on the ground. And we have two spaces here for the students to sit and program them. Nice. And can we program this one to do my dishes and laundry at home? Uh, we probably can, but sadly, uh, we are not allowed to take him home, so... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so we have to leave him here for now. Shall we get going? Sure. Welcome to our ultra-low vibration lab uh, in the big measuring hall from the physics department. The big measuring hall uh, features 14 uh, ultra-low vibration measuring platforms. One of these is such a thing. Um, on these, uh, we can do experiments that are very vibration sensitive. So if you look around, take it all in, because there's quite a lot. <laughs> okay. I have no idea what I'm looking at. So tell, please tell me what I'm looking at. That's fine. Um, this is the LAME, or Low Energy Electron Microscope. It's in basically a microscope, but on steroids. 
It's so powerful that it can distinguish uh, separate atoms. So you can actually picture atoms with it. Um, and that's also the reason why it has to be here on the vibration platforms, uh, because it's measuring such a small scale that even the vibrations in the ground caused by a car driving on the nearby highway can disrupt the image. Um, and it's standing on a platform which is basically suspended on giant springs in order to absorb all the vibrations coming from the ground. Cool. I heard it uh, another cool place, the atrium at the Gorleus building is also nice to see. It really is. So should we go there next? Yeah, let's see it. Let's go. Well, we saved the best for last, didn't we? This is the Gorleus atrium. Nice. And it's so light in here. Yes, we wanted as much natural light as possible in the area. Uh, hence the big windows and the big open spaces. Uh, we use the big open spaces for science fairs and open days and those type of big events. Nice. And I would really grab a, a study spot over here. Uh, that's actually what most people do. Uh, a lot of students often bond together here on the desks or down there at the computer labs uh, to study together because of the nice atmosphere we have here. I can see why. So, uh, shall we maybe take a coffee? Yes, please. I hope you like this 360 tour about the Faculty of Science. Um, enjoy the atrium. See you next time. So, coffee. Yes. Which one do you like? Black. <laughs>